If you guys want the fastest way to improve your aim, get some control freaks for cheap. Use code GOBLIN for 10% off and improve your aim today. Link in the description. Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. In today's video, we are talking about a recently buffed weapon that received some huge buffs on Black Ops 3 and went from being kind of a crappy gun too straight up overpowered and an absolutely dominant force of a weapon. Hope you guys will enjoy today's video. I had a lot of fun playing BO3 and using this weapon. So if you guys could drop a like on this thing, I would very much appreciate that. 2,000 likes, of course, would be the goal. And that would be absolutely amazing. If we could hit that, I'd you know, probably have some more BO3. I already have an idea for a really good BO3 video. I'm sure a lot of you guys will enjoy. So drop a like, drop a comment if you guys are enjoying my BO3 content. Because I really want to, over the next couple weeks, keep doing a lot of bo3 especially after this recent buffs and nerfs you know cover some of this, these new changes as well as keep up to date with world war ii because obviously that game came out only a month ago and is still a very very active game so i definitely appreciate all the support and all the people subscribing to my channel of course subscribe if you guys are new Let's talk about it. Now, the FFAR is essentially the FAMAS from Black Ops 1 put back into Black Ops 3. And this weapon is a DLC weapon, so not everyone has it. But uh, this one came out a long time ago, so I'm sure quite a few different people have it. And even if you don't have it, I'm sure this video will inform you of some different stuff. And, uh, you know, it's definitely still worth the watch because I, I really just need to talk about this weapon for the fact that this weapon was weak when i got this out of a supply drop i was not too hyped at all i don't i don't really remember back in the day but basically this weapon was one that sat on my account i leveled it up to get the attachments but i never really used it because of its insane recoil it's slow reload time and then this buff and nerf patch update comes out and i'll read you exactly everything that they changed with this weapon first thing improved reload speed which was needed the reload speed was a snoozer on this weapon and the improved reload speed is definitely noticeable it makes it like an average ar and especially with fast mags it's just really really pretty much instant a switch switch and you reload it improved sprint in and sprint out speeds which basically means when you go into a sprint and when you come out of a sprint getting your gun back up and this is so damn noticeable when you have fast hands which also improves that this this gun is insane. The sprint out speeds that I've been using a bunch of the other weapons, like the ICR that got buffed, and other weapons where they where they buff the sprint out speed. Your gun comes up so instantly if you have quick draw fast hands, and even if you don't, just with fast hands, it's ridiculous how fast your gun comes up. This is a very very noticeable change that also helps to speed this weapon up. And of course, the third one, which is the most important and the most pivotal one improved ads recoil so less recoil on this gun when aimed down sights which is the most important thing here because this weapon would shoot up to, uh, you know uh, to the upper right shoot all the way up to mars with the recoil and it kind of reminded me of the bo1 famos after the patch because how that gun worked in bo1 is it was super dominant no recoil and then they patched it and made it terrible with the or not terrible but you know weaker gun because of the upwards to the right recoil in this game, it's working the opposite. No one expected this patch to come out, and no one would have predicted the FFAR become one of the top weapons in this game, but it absolutely is right now because they fixed basically all the problems with it. This gun has an insane fire rate. It melts people. It has a pretty decent sight. Um, you know, the sights aren't the best, but I love this gun for the nostalgia that it brings because it is the FAMAS, which was my favorite gun from BO1 and one of my favorite guns in, BO in you know, Call of Duty, especially in Black Ops history. And this gun is so damn good right now because because the recoil now is so much more minimal you still have to run a grip with it but with the even before with the grip it was it was uncontrollable it was absolutely crazy and now this thing i'm not going to say it's a laser beam it has a tiny bit of recoil to the right but if you know how to control recoil and you're an experienced call of duty player at all this gun becomes a monster and is essentially at a strong point what the vesper was at its strong point of assault rifles because of the insane fire rate on this thing and all of the different buffs that this gun has received. Now, this weapon definitely is an assault rifle that at range is still not going to be the best. But as far as rushing, get up in people's faces, this gun beats SMGs, especially after the, the recent nerfs to uh, some of the top SMGs. This gun is ridiculous. And let's talk about a class setup here that I was rocking with this thing. Now, because this gun is so fast, I've designed this class setup for it that works very, very well. Now, I'll, I'll tell you guys what I change about the class setup depending on the situation. But basically, it's the FFAR with three attachments. And the attachments that I run, the first one is going to be fast mags. Now, the reload speed on this gun is 
decently fast after this buff without fast mags but i feel like hey fast mags why not use it make the reload speed pretty much instantly because i have that extra third attachment and that's something that you know allows me to go with the rushing nature of this gun so i 100 percent have to go with that right there next one of course is going to be a pretty obvious choice which i'm going to rock with the grip because this gun needs grip um even you know the recoil was reduced when aiming down sights but you still need grip to make this thing sort of the lasery sort of weapon and that is pretty much no option on that one. And my third attachment is pretty straightforward because it's different from how it works in World War II where you sort of have it built in if you use the infantry. In this game, you have to run stock as an attachment. So that's what, when I was making the class up today, I was like, wait, do I need to run this? And then I was like, 100% you do because especially on a gun where you're trying to rush and outplay enemies, not having stock makes you stand still like a scarecrow when shooting people. And you want to be mobile. Call of Duty is a fast twitch shooter game where you want to be mobile. And having that is absolutely key. So those are the three attachments that I use on this gun. The grip, the stock, as well as the fast mags. Now, no quick draw you'd think would be a big deal. But because of these increased sprint in and sprint out speeds, the gun comes up really fast. And aiming down sights seemingly isn't a problem. So that really didn't come into play too much. As far as my perk setup with this gun, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's two different setups that I use. So one setup is for a map, a smaller map, where I feel like I'm going to get grenaded. And that is flak jacket fast hands scavenger and tack mask and the other setup is one that i would use on a bigger map where i feel like i'm not gonna get hit by any stun grenades any sort of stuff like that any things that slow me down or any real grenades or explosives and that one will be the same setup just after burner fast hands scavenger so same second perks as well as blast suppressor there so it just depends on which setup you want to use i think the first gameplay here i was using the afterburner setup because it was on um fringe which fringe is a really underrated map to be honest i mean it's not really when I mean, people recognize its greatness but it's just a map that i find could be so like a, just a good version of course i compare it to firing range because it looks like that and it's worse than firing range but it's more of a medium-sized one and it works really really good on an advanced movement game i was you know coming back and playing this game was different from world war ii and i'll talk i'll talk about it in a second but um in the second gameplay here i was using the flak jacket setup because of course on combine combine you're going to be running into a bunch of nades and a bunch of stuns and a bunch of bs and that's basically you know the anti-bs class setup right there now playing this game the movement is insane and it's so different from cod world war ii but of course i have so many days played i'm level 700 which is ridiculous i know people just hit a level 1000 for the first time like look how high that guy was in the up in the air this game is ridiculously fun to be honest and and world war ii is fun as well because they basically you have to design the maps differently for boots on the ground versus advanced movement and one thing that's interesting and i want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below is do you guys ever think that call of duty will have another advanced movement game at least in in, in uh you know the the future that's coming up you know the the the, the future that's going to be uh you know the close future the near future i guess that's the term i was looking for right there because of so much hate on the advanced movement honestly i think advanced movement could work but take away wall running don't make them jump so high make you know make, make things like that if they made a good system in between boots on the ground and advanced movement i think it will work awesome of course i'm probably a bigger fan of, of boots on the ground but i think that to, to compensate for that they have to make smaller maps which world war ii has some but other ones you know i, I just count uh, you know other maps just don't work as well you know some of the maps that are a bit bigger maybe saint marie dumont or aiken those are maps that would probably play a lot better on uh, advanced movement system games even gibraltar but a lot of the other maps really wouldn't work you know point du hawk and um flak tower those of course play better on boots on the ground so of course there is an argument there me personally i'm more of a boots on the ground player but it was crazy how fast i thought it would be difficult to transition in between games it really wasn't for me and that's something i want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below either right now do you guys not own world war ii do you guys just have bo3 do you guys just have world war ii do you guys have both games and if you have both what are you playing are you guys playing world war ii pretty much most of the time and then bo3 a little are you guys completely uh, you know on world war ii are you guys completely gone back to bo3 i know you know most people probably wouldn't have gone back to bo3 already but after this buffs and nerfs you know that's what encouraged me to hop on and this game definitely is a lot of fun and it's crazy to have two call of duty games right now that are still very 
very, very popular. Of course, World War II is on its way up, ramping up, because a lot of people are, Christmas season coming up, people are going to be buying that. And um, BO3 has always been a strong game that worked its way up over its two-year life cycle so far. So I'm very excited to see what the future holds, and I'm definitely open to doing videos on all sorts of different Call of Duty games that I enjoy. So definitely give this weapon a go if you guys do have it. Uh, if not, I'll be having like other videos coming out uh, very, very soon, uh, more BO3 ones. Uh, I don't really want to, you know, I'm going to keep them surprises, but I got some more BO3 on the way as well as World War II. Drop a like on this video, guys. Sub for Cookie and Outlooky, and I'm out. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.